Good morning. Good morning, <laughs> Pamela. <laughs> oh, I've got a man that's brought me coffee, and not only coffee, but chocolate as well. And, oh, the, and the coffee actually is relevant to the song you've played. So if anyone comes in to visit Pam for any reason, make sure you bring in a black coffee. She does not have milk. That's right. And she loves her free coffee. Bring them in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've got a very large coffee, actually. I'm most impressed. You're, you're fighting away to me. Hard coffee and chocolate. <laughs> uh, so how are you? Oh, I'm brilliant, thanks. It's, it's, it's been great. I've, I've had a great, well... Well, what I see last last week was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. It's funny. I think I think I've been in here three times now, mm -hmm. and I was thinking, um, you you need a segment, you know, oh, who's that knocking at the door, <laughs> and arrange to have people coming in because I know as a listener, I think mm -hmm. about two Fridays ago or three, yeah, there was a um, suddenly everyone turned up. So That's remember right, that yes. day, yes. and from a listener's point of view, it was fabulous. And that day was random. You know, you didn't know who was in, who was out, who was walking. And for anyone that hasn't been in here, this place is better kitted out than the International Space Station. <laughs> I've got the swankest headphones on, an amazing microphone guard on a big boom, and Pam's got her boom, and all these little flashing lights everywhere. And then we look down the little window down to planet Earth, and there's Pam Reth <laughs> and the passing cars. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Uh, you know, I, I love it when you come in onto the internet. It's, it's, it's great. And not only that, it comes in. And we've got a, I'll just give it a little wave. A little, what they call Go, a little GoPro. I've got a GoPro number seven, I think it is, mm -hmm. yes. Right. And um, you're recording us just doing yeah, this, aren't we? Yeah. Well, I had a little thought. I thought, wouldn't it be fun to have a... You know, you might mention something, mm -hmm. and then usually what happens, it happens with us anyway, we keep on the same topic while mm -hmm. the listeners are listening to something else. And I thought, oh my God, that'd be fantastic. You know, Eden FM, if it had its own YouTube channel, yeah. it means that Lee could simply upload little snippets and have, it, it means the listeners they wanted to follow, they could simply click on and, and have the continuation. Because the cute thing is, on the YouTube, you wouldn't get the music playing in the background, you uh -huh. get the conversation. I think it's fantastic. Do you know, this man it, he's, he's absolutely um, wonderful with uh, technology and he, he, he makes apps. He makes apps. He's, he's, he's a genius. The man is. Oh, a look, genius. everyone has their own expertise and, um, you know, everyone starts, so long as you climb the ladder, starting at the bottom rung and going mm. rung by rung. That's my little excuse to say, when it comes to apps, I do walk on water. It, look, it's my profession, and I'm very, very good at it. And I'm sort of thinking, I've been talking, and we talked about this last week in the coffee shop, I'd like to find out who in the district of Penrith, that is within driving distance, mm -hmm. who is a geeky, nerdy, software engineer person like myself, mm -hmm. I think we should form a group and start getting a radio station app going <laughs> and so I think we need a little community where we get together and self-organize and then put proposals to Lee and go and create all this software and the radio station gets it for free because what I'm talking about and that costs about a quarter of a million. I tell you what, you, 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 Mr. Quincy is pricked up when he's oh, yeah. free. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, and your entry point app, any app in the app store entry point, uh, entry point done by a blue chip organization, it's usually three months and mm -hmm. our teams um, they cost 30000 a fortnight, so look, that's a quarter of a million pounds for an app. And so I think, I want to get a group together where we sit down and we do this, and we do this for free, and we have the best radio station app in the country. Oh, that sounds like a plan to me. And I've started already. <laughs> <laughs> but we need a group, because someone has to be product owner. Someone has to say, these are the features I want. Because right. as an engineer, I don't want to second guess that, because, yeah. you know, I don't want to spend a lot of time to get it wrong. Well, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So Pam's the person. Now, anyone out there... <laughs> Uh, just get in touch with Pam because Pam will um, can be the point I'll of contact. The, I'll be the conduit. Yeah, because I still need to have a chat with um, with Commodore Quinn. Yeah, Commodore. Well, he's the governor, here, isn't he? Governor Quinn. He's the governor of the radio station, yes. so Governor yeah. Quinn. <laughs> now then, you were talking about uh, you know that who's knocking on the door. Well, I, I, I was trying to find a particular track and I couldn't find it, but I've got this one. It's Dave Edmonds. I hear you knocking. <laughs> oh, fantastic. What a good old chat. I love it. <laughs> and hello, the GoPro is still going and recording oh, yes, there. Hello. But isn't, isn't that good? Yes. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hear you knocking, Dave Edmonds. I nearly got caught out there because we were that busy chatting. We were, we were rabbiting on like we were anything. rabbiting, yes. Now then, I do have... Uh, now, last week, I... Uh, 
we, we celebrated the fact that Shop Chippy had won the prize for best uh, fish and chip shop in Cumbria. And we've also, from uh, our very window, Anthony, we can see the winner of uh, best bridal boutique in Cumbria. Oh, fabulous, only, yeah. Only finesse bridal, yes. So that little shop over there, Finesse Bridal, that we can see from our studio window, uh, they're super excited. They have won Best Bridal Boutique in Cumbria at the Cumbria Business Awards. So congratulations to Finesse Bridal. And in being so, making, making Penrith so proud. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, that's, that's a few uh, good good awards that have been uh, handed out and thank you to, to Catherine and to the guys at Shop Chippy for, for getting in touch with us and letting us know because uh, that's what Community Radio is all about, spreading the word. Well, I've got to go down to Strat now and have some chips. <laughs> well, yes. Because you see, I go to the Frisington Chippy and they're very good So I and I'm over in the West so let's do an East-West thing here and compare. Right, yes, yeah. Yeah. well. Yes. No, no doubt, it's, it's going to be a nice experience. Um, I think that's the benefit of the Business Awards. You know, it puts new places on the map as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and you being a connoisseur of the, uh, of the <laughs> Fish and Chip uh, Emporiums. Which is surprising with me because it's not native to this country. They come from South America. <laughs> what, chips? Potato. Oh, potatoes, yeah. It's amazing how many Irishmen do not know that uh, potatoes are not native to Ireland. Well, yes. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right, let's have another track. <laughs> uh, let's have a bit of Ward Thomas, I think, and uh, Guilty Flowers. <laughs> Ward, Ward Thomas, Guilty Flowers. You've no idea how they, they, <laughs> the uh, conversation is flitting from one thing to another. You, you see, Pam's that. had her hair done yesterday uh -huh. and it's had a lovely wash put through it. My purple rinse, yes. We've, oh, I, I, I've, bored the, I've bored the listener about it already. <laughs> but it's very subtle, very subtle. Yes, but it goes with the clothes you're wearing. So Pam's wearing a pink and white horizontal stripe t-shirt okay. with an amazing um, pink um, cardi on top and that, and that goes with the hair. Yeah. So there you go. Imagine that. Then with a <laughs> International Space Station in front of her. That's what the captains wear now when they're driving the spaceship. <laughs> You know, the silly thing is that people who know me, uh, who I used to work with, will not be surprised that my I coordinate my, my hair with my clothes. I, 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 and I, you won't have noticed. Oh, my shoes as well. <laughs> and where's the handbag? Come on. No, no, there's no there's no pink handbag, but there are pink yeah, shoes. Yeah, but you, you, I see on the side there you've got your spectacles. They go with it as well. Bravo <laughs> on that. Bravo. <laughs> oh, dear me. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm such a... Such a coordinated thing, I really We are like. in Penrith. This is the place to prance around. We're at the centre of the country. We are. Yes, you've, you've, you've told us that before. It's for, uh, equidistant from the very north of the country. Yeah, this is the interesting thing, actually. I was going to bring in the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles and go blah, 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 blah about that. Mm -hmm. It'll have to be another time. Mm -hmm. And you and I will talk it through first. But the very interesting thing is this uh, King Arthur's Round Table at what we now call Eamon Bridge. Mm -hmm. Look, it depends how you measure it, right? But... If you go and um, measure from the top of Scotland to Eamon Bridge to King Arthur's Round Table mm -hmm. and then simply measure from there to the very tip of the Isle of Wight, mm -hmm. it's equidistant to under a mile. You know, wow. it's the middle of the country. Mm -hmm. And um, it's that, it's obviously it's the crow flight, so in straight lines. It's, both, yeah, yeah. Straight, straight lines, straight lines. And uh, I've done a lot of mm -hmm. geography for this. You can also change the measure and simply do the total bottom of the country, which is... Um, down near Land's End, mm. and then also if you if you go up out to the Orkneys and do it, you still you still end up to the centre yeah. within two or three miles. Wow! And the big question is why? Why is King Arthur's Round Table right in the middle? Wow! And that's the mystery I leave you with. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to say two words to you: ley lines. Oh oh oh! Mm. Just just throwing that out there. Yeah yeah. Well, King Arthur. Sorry. <laughs> you cut me off. That was clever. <laughs> <laughs> See, I need a, I need a flashing, a two, yeah, two second flash. That's okay. Sorry. And I cut Anthony off in his prime earlier on, but do you know something? It's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rolling on. A rolling stone gathers no moss. <laughs> so yes, we've uh, we've got about um, about two minutes to fill, and then we've got we're going to finish with a bit of Adele, which is quite unusual for me. She's not my favourite artist, yeah, yeah, but I'm going to play a bit of Adele. <laughs> um, and then uh, Bert will see me on my way. Uh, Tony is here, ready to take over and see you through the rest of the morning with a great mix 
of uh, international music, uh, a wide, huge range of music, and uh, so lots of great chat as well. So um, thank you for coming in, Anthony, again. It's lovely to see you. Oh, it's been splendid. Thank you. <laughs> it's Anthony Square, you see. It's Anthony Square. It yes. is. Do you know what? I, yes, you're right. I'm <laughs> surrounded by... Yes, oh, <laughs> and, and do you know, here's a snippet, do you know that the name Anthony means beyond estimation? I'll leave you with that. <laughs> well, I think that says it all, to be honest. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> oh dear me. Do you know, I thought it was hard with Dave. It's, 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 oh, hello, Dave. It's mind-bending here. <laughs> uh, so, yes, I will be back tomorrow That's morning. Fun bright-eyed and bushy-tailed uh, and uh, we'll be tomorrow we'll have uh, the uh, yesterday one small feature but as I was saying thanks ever so much for coming in Anthony um, will you be coming back next week or in the near future do you think well Thursdays are my Penrith day um, mm -hmm. I, I tend to go from here down into the Longdales mm -hmm. uh, Langdales, and yeah. um, so probably yes yeah jolly good so uh, Anthony will be back next week and uh, there'll be more madness and mayhem because we, we don't have a script we just ramble on and uh, and it's all being filmed as well that's mind. obvious <laughs> <laughs> so you. I'm going to I'm going to leave you the, uh, with a um, little quote from Maya Angelou this this uh, this morning uh, people will forget what you said people will forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel. So whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, whoever you're with, have a great day today. Uh, keep warm, keep dry. It's going to be a pretty miserable day. We've got Adele uh, to finish us off with Send My Love uh, to your new lover. And Bert will see us on your way. See you tomorrow. Woohoo. Did, did I get the word in? <laughs>